Friends, today is Tuesday, June 11, 2024, and I want to read you a single verse. It, you, you, almost everyone knows this verse because it's taken from the Lord's Prayer. It's Matthew 6, 12. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. So I hope you've got a, a drink of water or a power drink or some tea or some coffee. As we jump into God's Word today, yesterday we looked at this word uh, that is translated debts here. It's also sometimes translated trespasses. And that's because there are sometimes words in another language that are very rich that don't have an exact word that captures all of that. And in this case, the Greek word hamartia uh, can, can have an economic sense of debts. It can have a boundary sense of trespasses. But it can also, as we're going to look at today, mean missing the mark. And that gives it a whole different angle. I don't know if any of you have ever had a gym class where you did archery. They actually did that, I, despite the insurance risk, with real uh, arrows back when uh, I was in high school. And I wasn't very good at it. Truth be told, I could hit the target, but I never got the bullseye. Uh, that's the image that's used here. Uh, forgive us the times when we have missed the mark. And that gives a little different sense because I think we tend to uh, rationalize a little bit when um, we look at our own lives. We compare ourselves to others who are worse in a given behavior. And uh, we, we forget about the mark that we're actually supposed to be hitting. So, for instance, we're um, not unkind to someone, but we're not really very gracious either. We, uh, we don't get angry and lose our cool completely, but we're not forgiving with someone. And the mark is forgiveness. The mark is graciousness, not just tolerance. And so in that way, we miss the mark. And that's another um, way that, that, that essentially describes the opportunities we miss to do positive and holy things with others, to do gracious and good things. And those are, those are called in the tradition sins of omission rather than sins of commission. You may not be doing a bad thing, but you're missing the opportunity to, to do a good thing. We can ask ourselves then, uh, what am I missing? And as we examine our lives, we can turn that over to God and through um, honesty, restore intimacy. Let's take a moment and pray. Lord, forgive the times we miss the target and settle for the half-hearted, the partial, and the incomplete. Help me not to miss my opportunities in the rest of this day. Amen.